What is a tablet? A tablet is also a personal computer with a touch screen display. It is larger than a smartphone. It has a mobile operating system with internet access. It comes with pre-installed apps. Some of the apps are of a camera, calendar, web browsers, and games. Although you cannot call someone through a tablet unless calling facility is available, you can make an audio video call using Google Hangouts, Google Duo, Skype, Facebook Messenger, FaceTime, and iMessage. Popular Mobile Operating Systems Some popular mobile operating systems are iOS. This operating system is used by Apple for iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touch devices. The iOS apps can be purchased and downloaded from the App Store and are installed on the device either through syncing to iTunes on a computer or laptop or from the device itself. Android. This operating system is Linux-based and owned by Google. It is an open-source operating system and primarily designed for touchscreen devices. The Android apps can be retrieved and downloaded from Google Play, the app store of the Android operating system. BlackBerry. This operating system is used on Research in Motion, RIM, devices, which are considered as one of the earliest platforms for smartphones. The apps are available for purchase and download at the BlackBerry App World. Windows 10 Mobile. This operating system is the mobile version of Windows running on smartphones. The apps can be purchased and downloaded from Windows Phone Store. A few of the mobile operating systems and their native languages are given in this table. Apps. The word app is the abbreviation for application. It is a software which can run on a phone, a computer, the internet, or any other electronic device having processing capabilities. It allows a user to perform a specific task. History of apps. The first mobile call was made by Martin Cooper of Motorola to Dr. Joel S. Engel of Bell Labs on 3rd April 1973. The first mobile application for a smartphone was developed for IBM Simon. The first smartphone for general use was announced by IBM in 1993, which included apps for a calculator, world clock, calendar, and contact book. The BlackBerry smartphone released in 2002 integrated support for a wireless email app also. iPhone was launched in 2007 with inbuilt apps. Apple launched the App Store in July 2008 with 500 apps. About 10 million applications were downloaded during the first weekend. Google Play for Android devices was launched on 6th March 2012. Types of apps. Apps are of three types. Native apps, web apps, and hybrid apps. Let us understand each of these in detail. Click on each type to know about them. Native apps. Native apps are designed for a particular platform, device, or operating system. These apps are written in native language of the operating system, Android and BlackBerry, Java, iOS, Objective-C, Windows 10 Mobile, and C Sharp. Native apps have full access to platform APIs, 
application programming interface, camera, audio, video, network, location, address book, etc. The apps can be downloaded from the respective store and installed. They are then available on the device. Some native apps can be used without an internet connection also. Most video games are native mobile apps. Advantages of native apps High speed and reliability The app is available on the device. It can use the platform APIs, camera, audio, video, network, etc. Disadvantages of native apps Developers should have good knowledge of the platform languages. Such apps work only on a specific platform. The apps are very expensive. Web apps The web apps are the websites designed for mobile phones. They are written in HTML5 and JavaScript. They are downloaded from the Internet through a browser. The websites can also run in the browser on a mobile. The program runs on the server side. Therefore, for every web page request, an active network connection is required. Advantage of web apps. Apps can run on any platform. The same programming code is required for any platform. Apps can be developed in less time. The development cost is low. Disadvantages of web apps. The performance is slow as the app gets information from the server. A network connection is required. The apps get limited API access. They are not available in the store. There is no application icon on the device because the application is not installed. The application runs in a browser. Hybrid apps. A hybrid application combines the features of both native and web applications. The native applications are developed for a specific platform and web applications are used on multiple platforms and not installed locally on a device but available over the Internet through a browser. These are available in the App Store. Most of the applications are hybrid apps. For example, online banking services store some of the content locally on the device, such as PDF files. However, for monetary transactions, it should be linked to the Internet. Another example is a gaming app. If you play the game on a mobile device, it is a native app. But if you play with any other player in the world, it is a web app. It is a hybrid app because it has the features of both native and web apps. Working of apps. Apps work on client-server model. Here, the application program or the browser on the device is the client. The server is the program that manages all processes and stores all data. The client sends the request to the server using HTTP protocol. The server sends the response back to the client using HTTP. When the two programs are communicating, they have to follow some rules called protocols. Downloading apps, installing, deleting apps. You can always download the apps from the respective app store. The apps are either free or need to be purchased. If you have an Android device, it comes pre-installed with Play Store. Tap the Play Store icon. The Google Play window appears. 
you can use the search feature to search for a specific application. Let us say, search for games. A list of games appears. To download a game, example, Temple Run, tap it and then tap the Install button. To delete an app, go to Settings and then the App. The App Information screen appears. Tap Uninstall. Developing an app. To develop an application, you need an app development software. There are many free app development software available on the web. Most common ones are Obincube, Unity 3D, AppyPy, App Inventor, and Thunkable. Development of simple apps. Let us create an app using a free app development web tool called the Thunkable. The app that we will develop using this tool will have two buttons, blue and red. On clicking the blue button, the screen background will change to blue. Similarly, on clicking the red button, the screen background will change to red. To develop the app using this tool, follow these steps. Type the address https colon slash slash thunkable.com in address bar of browser and press enter. The sign in page appears. Click sign in. The welcome to thunkable page appears. You can create apps for iOS and Android operating system. Click Android button. Next, a Google sign in screen appears. You can use this app development tool only if you have an active Google account. Sign in using your Google account with your username and password. After successful sign in, you are presented with a web page that displays your existing projects, none in the beginning. The main page appears. Click Create New App button. The Create New Thunkable App dialog box appears. Enter the project name and click OK. The Designer screen appears. It has four panels, Palette, Design Application, Components, and Properties. In Palette, under the Layout tab, Drag the horizontal arrangement layout to the screen. This is used to arrange the controls horizontally on the screen. Drag two button controls from the user interface to screen 1. Set their properties as given in the table. Click the Blocks button. Now, you can set the programming codes for the buttons. Select button 1. The corresponding code window will appear. Drag the When Button 1 Click block. Click Screen 1. The corresponding blocks will appear. Drag two blocks, Title and Background. Select the built-in text control the corresponding blocks will appear. Drag the text string block. Select the built-in colors control. The corresponding blocks will appear. Drag the red color block. Drag the blocks and place them as shown. Type the required text. Repeat the steps for button 2. The programming code will appear as shown below. Click the Export drop-down arrow. It has two options. Click the first option. App. Provide QR code for .apk. The QR code is generated. Scan it through the mobile. A link is generated. Download the file and install it. You can click the second option. App. Save.apk to my computer. 
it will save the .apk file on your computer. You can directly connect your mobile to computer and save the application or you can transfer it through Bluetooth. The icon of your first app will appear. Tap it to run the application. Initially, it will appear as shown. Click the red button. The background will change to red and screen title to red background. Click the blue button. The background will change to blue and screen title to blue background. Let us develop one more application. It allows a user to draw on the screen using a finger by taking colors red, green, and blue. It also deletes the drawing by shaking the device. Click the app's drop-down arrow and select Create New App. The Create New Thunkable App dialog box appears. Enter the project name as Drawing and click OK. The designer screen appears. Drag the horizontal arrangement under Layout and set the properties as follows. Width, Fill Parent, Height, 10%. Drag three buttons under User Interface and set the properties as given in the table. Drag Canvas under Drawing and Animation and set the properties as follows. Width, Fill Parent, Height, Fill Parent. Click Sensor. Drag the Accelerometer component to Screen 1. It is invisible, but its name appears below the device. Click the Blocks button. Drag the blocks and arrange as shown. Click the Export drop-down arrow. There are two ways to copy the file. Drawing.apk to your device. Follow the steps discussed in the previous app to export the app. Tap the app icon on your mobile and draw or write something on the device. Do not forget to pick the color from the palette that appears at the top. To remove the content on the screen, just shake the device.